Hello everybody, welcome back. Recording tooth preparations as they are in the patient's mouth is absolutely vital to achieve precise restoration. So let's get an insight into one step and two step addition silicone impressions for crown and bridge. I have a lower first molar prepared and it is ready to be recorded in the impression. Firstly, I will take a one step impression of this prepared tooth. Now the ideal material to use for a single step impression is a heavy body with a light body. I don't normally recommend putty for this because the light body tends to get washed out because of the bulk of the putty. As usual, I have placed two retraction cords here. One of them is a double zero cord and the top cord is a number one cord. While my assistant loads the heavy body on the tray, I will get the top cord out and express some smart light body into the sulcus and also along the occlusal surfaces of the teeth. It is very important to have the light body in critical areas, especially the margin. My tray with the heavy body then goes in and I wait for it to set. My impression is ready and this is how it looks. Again, you can appreciate the light body going beyond the margin. Okay, so now it's time to take the two-step impression. My assistant will now mix the putty and load it onto the tray. I also have a plastic spacer ready with me. This will ensure uniform space for the wash. The spacer then goes on top and I place the tray inside the patient's mouth. Once it's set, I can get the tray out and you can see that there is uniform space created because of the spacer. I now have the smart light body ready and again the top cord comes out and I shall express some light body into the sulcus and around the prep. I will also have some light body along the occlusal surfaces. In goes the tray and we wait for the material to set. Although this technique is a little sensitive, it gives us great results when used correctly. So now our impression is set and we get it out. There you go. Again you can see the light body recording the tooth structure beyond the margin. So follow these simple steps to take a silicon impressions to get a more precise and predictable fit on all your restorations. This is Dr. Mahesh Jagwani signing off. See you next week.